Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. I'm the film critic for yeticket.com, also a member of the African American Film Critics Association. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Jersey Boys. That's right. When you hear that, what do you think of? Big girls don't cry, walk like a man. Well, I did. I listened to that music when I was a kid on AM stations. Wow. I really enjoyed that mo- that uh, type of music that the Four Seasons sang back then. But now, here's the movie. Now, I saw the Broadway production of Jersey Boys. I really enjoyed that, too. It was fun to watch. But did the Broadway production translate into a good film, which is directed by Clint Eastwood. And again, the writing credits go to, to Marshall Brickman and Rick Elise. You know, they are friends with uh, Clint Eastwood also. Now, in this film, there are no real big stars in this film, unless you want to count, you know, Christopher Walken. You know, he is Academy Award winner. But you got John Lloyd Young, Vincent Piazza, Johnny Candazera, and Michael Lamenda. You know, they're playing the Jersey Boys, the Four Seasons, Frankie Valley. Now, these guys, again, from New Jersey, and supposedly grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. You know, if you read anything about it, it's what they say. But in my opinion, they grew up in America. What's the wrong side of the tracks? Even back in the 60s, you know, I didn't understand that part. They just seemed to be one to be thugs. But not Frankie. You know, Frankie, he was working. He was a barber at a, at a barber shop. And he just knew these young kids, you know, who wanted to be thugs. In fact, that's how he got in the group. One of the thugs put a group together. And eventually... Frankie gets in the group. Now, again, this talks about mob ties. In this film, it seemed like the type of mob ties they had was like an old grandfather. Oh, the old grandfather did this and did that for them. Then all of a sudden, you when they old grandfather's money, I was going to take it out on one of them. And unfortunately, it's only one of them in the group who had the real mob ties, who really got in trouble. And the only trouble he really got in that he owed money. That was the only trouble that he had in this film. Now, let's talk about the direction of Clint Eastwood. He played this very safe. He didn't offend anyone. And it was a little bit confusion about some of the details. For example, when Frankie Valley's daughter died. How did she die? Why did she die? When did she really die? You know, they really didn't go into that because here you can see Clint Eastwood also very budget conscious in this film. They didn't stray out too much as far as the budget and as far as the other co-stars, he didn't let them do too much in this film where the budget will go up. And Clint Eastwood does have it has the reputation of staying within budget of all his films and shooting on time. And again, that's the little problem that I had with this film. It was just too clean. It wasn't gritty enough for the times and, and for what they did as far as mob ties, the people around them, and even the death of Frankie Valley's daughter. That's the only problem I had with this film. But as far as singing, stage presentation, and telling his story, well, he did all that very well. But I don't understand why they picked Clint Eastwood. Was it because he's a big name compared to everyone else, you know, related to this film? But he did do a good job in directing this film, Jersey Boys. I enjoyed it. But again, with Clint Eastwood at the helm, Yes, they focused just on the group, Frankie Valley. But at that time, there was a musical explosion. Remember, there was Motown, James Browns, The Beatle, Jimi Hendrix, and rock and roll, and the British invasion. All that was going on around, not none of that was mentioned at all in this film, just like the Broadway play. 
So really, he just took the Broadway play and put it on film. Did nothing different. But because of that, I still enjoy the Jersey Boys. I'm giving this three palm trees or three stars. You know, if you can not understand my palm trees. That's three out of four. The entertainment, the singing, the direction, everything else is very good for this film. Jersey Boys. Clint Eastwood did what he had to do with what they gave him.